Hi, it's Kasha McDaniel, and I am a home stager decorator, and you're listening to the Creative Home Podcast, where I talk about staging and decorating and all things associated with your home. So take a listen. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Creative Home Podcast. My name is Kasha. And today I just learned about something that I want to share with you guys that I had never heard of, but I realized that I probably need to try it out. And it's called laundry stripping or strip washing your sheets and towels. And I had never heard of this, but it seems to make sense. So now I got to try it. So this is what it is. Um, Basically, when you wash your sheets and towels, um, especially if you, you know, wash it once a week or whatever, um, there are times when there are still things that are left behind on those sheets, for example. Um, and it's the way to clean it by soaking it in super hot water and some, um, cleansing agents to help strip and remove any residue from the soap, the laundry detergent, and if you use fabric softener, um, and it ne- could be necessary if you use a gentle homemade laundry soap run, rather than a detergent. So these are a couple of things that you can, if you do this or have this, stripping your laundry might be something you might want to try. Um, so if you have a homemade laundry soap that's soft and more gentle, if you live in an area with hard water, yep, we do here for sure. Oh my gosh, yes. And... Sometimes when you're looking at your sheets, for example, the whiteness and you've bleached it, but it's just still not there. You're kind of wondering if there's still something lurking, you know, this is something that you might want to consider doing. Um, and I read this one article about one lady who did it and she's like, I just wanted to just try it out just of curiosity, you know, um, and how you do it. Uh, basically you, um, take a big tub or like, you know, a, a bucket, or if you have like lots of sheets that you want to do put it in a big bathtub. Okay. Um, and what you do is you're going to use really, really hot water and, um, that you can submerge the items. Okay. And then what it tells you to do is it has add a quarter cup of borax, a quarter cup of washing soda, which I'm going to have to look that up because I'm not quite sure what that is because it's not baking soda. That's different. There's a washing soda and a half a cup detergent to the hot water. So if I look it up, this, this said um, washing soda is kind of like, um, like something with enzymes in it, um, like an oxygen whitening powder washing soda. There is a supposedly, Arm & Hammer creates a super washing soda. Huh, all right, well, in Germany, I'm not gonna find that. I can guarantee you that. Um, so I'll have to see what I, what I have to do instead. But now I really wanna try this out. So quarter cup of borax, quarter cup of washing soda, and a quarter cup detergent in this hot water. You stir it basically in the tub um, and let it soak for about four hours or until the water has completely cooled. And then when you look in, the water is probably going to be kind of yucky looking, like grayish brown type of thing. I'm like, oh, gross. (laughs) Um... So what you want to do once you, you know, once it's done soaking, you drain the water and wring out the excess and then use, then you take all those items and put it in a final rinse in the washing machine using just water, just the water only cycle. Don't only add any more detergent to it. Um, but by doing this, if you do this like once a month, they say, that's something that you may want to take a look at. Now you don't want to do it in things like, um, clothes that can't, you know, take the hot water. You have to read the labels. It has to be something, you know, that can be cleaned in really, really hot water. So read your labels. Um, I know some shirts, some clothing can't do that. So this is really more for like towels and sheets, which you use every day. Right. Um, but of course you can try this for clothes that maybe they have a, you know, you just kind of especially with, you know, sports clothes. If you sweat in those things or workout gear and stuff like that, check and see if that's something that those are probably going to have to wash differently. But yeah, how so laundry stripping is, hashtag laundry stripping is the thing you can look up. Um, supposedly on TikTok videos, people have been soaking sheets and towels 
um, for several hours and it yeah so now I got to try that out because yeah here in Germany we have really hard water even in North Carolina we have hard water but we have a water softener um, so yeah that's something I'm gonna have to go try and see how that works um, and and even our laundry here our laundry machines are teeny tiny um, normally I could what I can fit in a normal load I have to do and split into two loads because our machines are that small yeah and our dryer is um, a ventless dryer. So what that means is there's no vent going out with a hose out to outside. Um, so what it does is it collects the water in a little container. Little, it's a long container, kind of like a um, like a Tupperware thing. It's a long piece of plastic that the water empties into when it dries out your clothes. Um, and then I have to empty out that container like once every five to six washes or so because it gets filled up with so much water and it went, once it gets filled up we found out that's the hard way that the dryer will stop working <laughs> because it's trying to tell you hey dummy there's water in here you need to empty this out i can't put any more water in here um it's obviously for safety reasons so yeah so that's where we learned the hard way of how to <laughs> dry and clean our clothes that way um so yeah so that's water is is Hard water can be a thing that you might want to look at to see if you have those issues that maybe your sheets and towels aren't as clean as you think they might be. Laundry stripping is something you might want to do. So speaking of water, I just found, realized that our little toilet in our master powder or in our powder room is leaking. And so you wouldn't think it's a major deal, but it is here in Germany because what that means now is that I now have to call a German plumber um, cause the landlord just said, just, if you have any issues with plumbing, just call the landlord, just call, call the plumber directly. Just, you know, I'm like, okay, fine. But the problem is he doesn't speak English. So now I got to translate. Um, he doesn't take phone calls or answer his phones. He, what he responds to are better in text. So now I got to go use Google translate and write down, Hey, the toilet's leaking. Can you please come over? I will be home all day or something like that in German. And luckily, there's Google Translate, but I'm sure it's not the best, not exactly the way it could be. Um, but he's been over here before, so he knows that I don't speak German. So, And he speaks Schwabish German, which is not high German, which is different. They have used different words for different things, and it's like, oh, like a dialect, kind of like Southerners, you know, the y'all instead of you all or you people or, yeah. So, yeah, so that's what I have to deal with, too. And I'm like, oh, gosh, so I'm not looking forward to getting the hold of the plumber. He might be on vacation this week because it's Easter week, too. So, yeah, they're on crazy vacations. They have a whole week off. Um, so, yeah, so we'll see. Wish me luck on this because I'm not looking forward to having to deal with anything that is not my language. That is just a simple thing. I just need the plumber to come over here and find out why the toilet is leaking. Because you can see the water stains like on the tile and everything, and it sits in the grout. So you know something is leaking. I don't know what. And they're not missing either. The kids aren't missing. We tried that. We thought that too. No. Nope. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so take a look. See if you need to do some laundry stripping. Not that kind of stripping, but actually cleaning it. Um, so, yeah, and maybe that's something that you probably realized, didn't realize you had to do or may have to check out and see, well, how clean is my stuff really? So take a look. Um, if you try it out, I'd like, like to know if you've tried it. Um, let me know. I'm going to have to try that, but i got to find some washing soap. I don't know what, where I'm going to find that because in German, I'm, I'm sure not going to find that. Um, and in the commissary on base... Probably not, because we're very limited on what we get from the States as American products. So, yeah, and even borax. I don't think I'm going to be able to find borax. We'll see. But anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will talk to you later.